Everybody loves to have fun in the sun, unless you're this guy. As we've probably all experienced, too much sun is very harmful to us. So we've practiced on protecting our skin, but do we protect our hairs? Do you even think about what it does to your hairs? That's what you need to evaluate and prepare for. Today, we're gonna talk about a summer hair care routine. How you can protect your locks from the fiery rays of the sun. Because it's those we love most that can do the most damage. Don't get me wrong, the sun is great for a lot of things. It provides us with vitamin D, which makes us happy and also promotes hair growth and is an essential vitamin for us humans to have. But we're all aware of the harmful effects of too much sun exposure. Obviously on our skin, we can get burnt from the sun, which leads to much more serious issues. But to our hair, excessive sun exposure can cause structural damage to the hair shaft, which results in drier, frizzier, and damaged hair. Therefore, to compensate so we can enjoy the sun and protect our hair, these are the steps to take. Follow along. Now, in terms of protecting your hair, let's talk about how to wash your hair in the summer. Now, there's two types of people. There's people that can swim, and there's me. There are those that love swimming, and that includes wetting your hair. I'm not one of those people. But if you're one of those people, you absolutely need to make sure you're washing your hair properly. If you're swimming in chlorinated water or salt water, you need to wash your hair thoroughly using a clarifying shampoo. There's tons of clarifying shampoos out there that are meant to cleanse the hair of any chemicals and buildup left in it. So especially after swimming, you need to use that. Now keep in mind, if you're using a clarifying shampoo, it is absolutely critical, and I suggest this for anybody, that in the summer you replace your regular conditioner with a deep conditioning mask. Using a mask as your conditioner has double the benefits. Your mask should cater to your hair care needs. Personally, because my hair is also colored, around summertime I use a protein mask. The one I use is the Aveda Damage Remedy Intense Restructuring Mask. I find that that also tackles the dryness that I have in my hair because my hair is lacking the protein since it's so light. However, for someone that hasn't colored their hair, you may not need as much protein. So you don't want to be using protein all the time. So it's good to have a mask that provides intense moisture. Now besides swimming, because not everyone likes the water, you're still probably washing your hair more frequently in the summer. I know I am. So I don't always shampoo. I only shampoo once a week. Every other time I need to wash my hair, I do what's called co-washing. Co-washing is short for conditioner washing. It's literally lathering your hair with conditioner. So throughout the week, if you're washing your hair more than often, use a conditioner to lather your hair. Now if you're wondering, what co-wash do I use? There are brands that have specific co-washes that are conditioner washes. Or you can even just use your regular conditioner. I've done both. I've used both the co-wash, which is now pretty much empty. Keep in mind, you don't really have to buy a separate co-wash. You could just use your regular conditioner. Conditioners actually have cleansing surfactants in them. If you really rub it in, you can notice it actually set up a little bit. So it'll gently cleanse without stripping any of the natural oils. Now that we've cleansed and conditioned, it's time to prepare and repair our hair from the outdoors. During the summer, every time I wash my hair, before any of my styling products, I apply a leave-in treatment to my hair from roots to ends that is conditioning and protects from UV damage. This is the one I use. It's from Aveda. It's from their Brilliant Hair Care line. And let me tell you, it's brilliant. This is called the damage control. It's amazingly lightweight. It can be used on any hair type and it'll protect from thermal damage, reduce breakage from combing, and it helps protect against the UV damage. Holla! So that's something I spray in every time I wash my hair. Now, if you're spending even more time in the sun, you're extremely active outdoors, you're going to the beach or you're sitting by the pool, after you spray your sunscreen on your skin, well, what do you do with your hair? Anywhere that your scalp is exposed, either if you have very short hair or finer hair or thinning hair, you definitely want to make sure that your scalp is protected because your scalp can also get sunburned and that can lead to even more hair loss. So to protect it, you can either wear a hat, bandana, headband styles, can definitely help protect your scalp. Aveda also has a sun care protecting hair veil that's water resistant. You spray over your hair like a mist and it just creates a UV barrier. It's really, really lightweight, smells amazing, and it's all natural. If you can't get your hands on that stuff, I've seen people spray sunscreen into their hair. It's not something I'm condoning, but UVA, UVB protection is crucial all over. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Just keep in mind how much you're putting on and don't get too greasy. 
There's tons of shit you can use. Those are just some of the ones that I use. In the description below, I'll link a bunch of different products with different price points so you guys can read up on them and, and try to determine what would be best for your hair care needs. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Sun is out and I'm feeling okay. You gon' suck some today. Ba, ba, ba. We gon' flop these curls today. Outside, bad, fun, scary. Everybody loves a little fun in the sun. That's what we gon' do. With your buns for everyone. No. However, in the criminal justice system. Yeah. But we still can't be standing out in the sun to get this D. You can eat. Are you still filming? What if this camera's off? It looks off right now. Check it out, 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 check it out.